nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, three two, two, one. Fight. And we're live! Clan base Euro Cup 26, following the superstar of the previous map, Alteza off the spawn of the Miso, punishing him. There has been another substitute, Nubikula out, Gizmo back in for Mammoth. This third map, so that's Miso, Deeth, Gizmo and Satan. Uh, the first map victors back reunited there. And then uh, Plan B, Alteza, Hate Me, Serboz and Hypno, no changes there. On dreadful place for again a single power up map maybe suiting plan B then. Well, their power up play was dominant. Mama and Nimbus managed to get this first one in the hands of Gizmo. He's pretty stacked, but where was his team support? Plan B just rushed him and took him out. Well, they didn't know the time, and most of his team were in the mega health area still. Yeah, they were nowhere near, and you kind of think they could have got a massive gain out of that one. He was actually stacked. Yeah, very lucky though that he was there. I mean, he, he just decided I had. Good weapons, a stack, you know, quite a lot of players decide in that case to go to quad early. Now, it's fortunate that he did, otherwise, it would have just been a free pickup. So, do you know what maps were eliminated originally? At the start of the game, it was Mammoth who eliminated Terminus, you know, as we so often see teams eliminating in this competition, and Plan B eliminated Grim Dungeons. Okay, it's two double power of tactical maps. So, that less of this intervention and, uh, the map. Hidden Fortress. Oh yeah, Hidden Fortress, of course. I was thinking of a different pool that was where Hidden Fortress wasn't in it. But thank god for Clan Base, it is. And they managed to settle on this. Obviously, um, Plan B had the choice. I'd imagine Mammoth eliminated maybe Intervention, was that it? Um... I don't remember, but Hidden Fortress said it possibly eliminated as well, you know, having gone down so heavily on a map like Terminus, which is a you know, fairly open, aggressive Limbus. map. Similarly, yeah, Limbus, similarly to Hidden Fortress, so perhaps they would have liked the idea of playing a similar map. Five frags difference at the moment, still early on, 20 seconds until the quad. We want to see both teams probably there now, really, setting it up, securing it. You'd expect maybe on the previous map, Plan B to be the guys in position. Someone like Deeth here, I mean, he's waiting for the rail. Rail might be important, but oh. you know, quad is five seconds away. He you better hope his team are drawing all the fire here because it's coming the bounce pad. It's worked out all right in the end. He got a frag. His team eliminated the quad, but if he'd been there a bit earlier, maybe. Yeah, I mean, he, obviously the rail is important, but as I said, when quad wow. is coming up. I can't believe how good that dodge was of me. So he just jumped over the rocket. I don't know how he timed that perfectly. They were out of position yet again as a team for that power up moment. It was plan B there. It's just fortunate that Deep and Miso were able to do enough to eliminate it. So one quad picked up a piece, both eliminated instantly. On this map though, it's a it's a good quad area to lock down and really get a quad out of that area with, so I don't expect the entire map to be instantly eliminated power ups. Serbos is chasing Miso, he managed to miss that shotgun, but does come out on top. Only two health though with a rail in hand. Also palm that off to a teammate actually. Worked out pretty well for them weapon wise. Although they're probably not in the most effective areas there with the machine gun work. Up top. So I mean judging by the way the two tombs are playing it's like perhaps Mammoth are playing the more mega area or are they just yeah, moving it looks between like it's the so two? Far, I mean, but I'd it does seem both teams would like control of red. You know, sometimes we do see teams that are willing to just play from the mega, but it doesn't look like in, in this case. I feel like one thing we've seen though is Mammoth definitely focusing heavily on that lightning gun area. And you've kind of got a decision between the rail and the lightning gun as to which one to put a bit more emphasis on. You can try and split, but you can be overrun at one or the other. So it looks like there's um, a couple of times we've seen already sent three players to lightning gun. Ten seconds to go before the quad looks like the line of a late rush by both teams again. Deeth with the rail gun. He's in a good position. He's got lightning gun now as well. He hits his rail shots as well. And there's the quad. Only 25 health. Could have maybe delayed it a little bit for somebody with a bit more health there. All his team were there. I think that's yeah, with a lightning gun, in interestingly. Yeah, he did, didn't he? And he had the quad. And it looked like they had a bit of debate over that. Like, what? 
What yeah, they probably think, what are you doing? Do you want the lightning gun? He probably... No, the only thing I can look, look at and say is, you know, he considered that he has low health, so he can't get in close and use the lightning gun effectively. He wants yeah. to sit back, but you know, as a result, he's made zero frags. Wow. Down to one health from that rocket. There are only six frags up. Yeah, it's one of those moments where perhaps a little bit clearer thought process would have seen that he cleared the whole quad area. He had players rushing in who would have probably been full health. If he'd just not picked up a quad, one of them could have grabbed it. He could have passed off his lightning gun like he did anyway, and they'd have had a much more stacked quad run going on, but... Impressive. You don't necessarily get massive quad runs on this map anyway, so maybe it wasn't too much loss. Miso with the red pickup shotgun in hand, you see he can't eliminate his opponent very quickly still, because his, his shotgun's just not quite effective enough. No, I'm pretty sure that was just a spawner as well he was shooting at. And his shots look pretty much like you know, they would connect well, it's just we didn't see much damage from them. Still retains quite a chunk of that armor though, and that is good work. The longer you can make that armor last for, the better for your team, because it means more of your team will eventually be running around the map with armor. And yeah, and on a map like that, uh, a map like this, that would be a good stead for the parrots as well. Yeah, 20 seconds Having before the multiple point. people with armor, because you can then use someone to make the entry into quad if the other team is set up already, and they can use their armor, but then you'll still have someone armored to run the quad. Serbo's taking a lot of shotgun still, and Miso backs off his route, picks up the 50. Wasting time here, though, he's not going to get to the quad in time now. He's going to have to try and hit a rail shot on... Well, Hypno's managed to go for plan B. He did take a rail shot. Excellent. And he's managed to escape, and he's got the Mega to his name now. So I think Miso just backing off for that. I have to say, pointless 50. I mean, he had like 83 health when he picked him. Yeah, something like 87. Yeah. So the 50 doesn't really seem like a priority. No. Not when quad's coming up. Health spawning every 35 seconds, of course, so it'll be spawning anytime soon. Is eventually taken out. Didn't gain that much with the quad. Mammoth still seems to be in control of this red armor, which is generally seen by most teams as the primary objective on this map. Gives you good access to the rail, especially. Maybe a little bit less access to the lightning gun, but you can still rush it with a stacked player. I think if you're using the red well, pushing out to rail and lightning gun effectively with it, then I think a lot of people would consider it the stronger position. But if you're just sitting in the red room, we've seen plenty of times, teams are just sitting there with red, they don't actually have a lot to work with if they don't push out and make good use of it. I'm not sure how long this timeout will be, but I'm sure it won't be too long. It's fun to have plasma in the timeout. It always does Two, seem to be a plasma yeah. bob on a timeout. <laughs> and yet, you know, players hardly ever use plasma, you, you seem to find as you watch the game, so it's pretty weird. Satan, good bit of shotgun work in the end. It's just taking so long to get the kills. Does get a second kill and an excellent on the board before he's rocketed by Alteza. Neutral, cool kill there. Yeah, and Mamak's good play at the red you know, at this stage of the game. It's seeing them have a 20 frag lead. Yeah, it seems like Plan B, <laughs> ironically, don't necessarily have a Plan B. After, if they've lost the red, they, they're kind of rushing in, which, you know. It's good if you've got weapons, if you're rushing in together, if you're attacking in good areas, but look at this, they've just been punished. And if you hit your shots, which now Tessa was doing on Nimbus, but not so much there. 20 seconds before Quad, he wisely backs off towards it. I mean, he's almost got 70 armor here, 80 health, shotgun and a rail. He should be perfectly placed for this, can do a bit of damage, that's unfortunate. Look like it would have connected. But he does hit his shots at the bounce pad, and that's obviously a risky position to attack from the bounce pad. Are they going to send another player? They are. I would hope not. It's a player without anything to his name. Serbos picking up. Oh my goodness! Gizmo's LG tore him to shreds! Yeah, very nice. And it was. I don't know, was there almost. Alteza, did like... he miss his rail on Gizmo yeah, coming but... through the door? His teammates as well, Alteza, had they already left the quad because they assumed it was secure? That like there was only one other person there with him. Yeah, right, servers with the quad, wasn't it? Tesla. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's just a bit surprising that Gizmo was allowed to just walk in, swan in. They weren't even really looking at him anyway, and he just caught perfect LG. In fact, servers could have escaped maybe down the balance, had just escaped. It would have been low health anyway. 
And that was a big kill, coming up to the halfway point. A quad run then from plan B would have been ideal. Try and bring it back closer, but you know, the score has closed in regardless of them not actually being able to use the quad. Yeah, Hypno, excellent play around this railgun. And as we discussed earlier, maybe plan B have a, the better of the rails. And Mama earlier on at least had the better of the lightning guns. But it seems like plan B has sort of started to overrun Mama a little bit here. Yeah, they certainly look like they've got red under better control than they've had prior in this game. Rail should be up in a second. Altezza moving down there, Hypno in support. Excellent play. This is exactly what you want to see. They've got two railers on the map now, at least. Yeah, and when you start to have more and more people with the rail, you know, you start what? to see a lot more yeah. unreturned okay. damage. This is a great railing position when your teammates are attacking that mega, drawing fire. You should get three rails across the map there. And there you go, again, dangerous position to be railing from. He's got to be cautious of the plasma spam, but he could be in trouble here. Oh, misses that shot. Rail should be spawning any second as well. Good frag. There it is. Of course, weapons spawn every 30 seconds. And the teams are actually tied now. Yeah, so Mammoth's 20 plus frag lead has just totally vanished. They're not in the best position to actually take the court here, but Plan B have an excellent setup overall. Do eventually take it! Rushes straight into Satan's grenade, but he had a good stack, so he was taking a risk that it wasn't a massive risk. Oh! Exactly what? Heavy shotgun there by D3. He had Mega to his name as well, but he just came on top. Full damage shotgun. He I did like that. the way that uh, Hate Me left the quad though, because you know if you're de if you've decided I'm going to run through these nades, you have to be positive like he was. You can't sort of dodge around the corner carefully and risk getting hit because you no know, two grenades would have killed him. You have to rush, take one, and then just get the kill before another one is fired away. You sort of. As you say, try and dodge them, it's more likely more will get shot. Anyway, I mean, Mammoth did a pretty good job countering that with Dee's frag, but they are now behind to plan B, so this is quite a big turnaround in frags in those last few minutes. Yeah, it's about a 30 frag turnaround at this point. Very to be work. roughly 10 ahead. Bit of momentum. But you could see, as soon as they started to have good control of that red, it did make a huge difference. The score closed in fast, so it kind of implies that they've made far better use of the red than Mammoth did. Yeah, Mammoth, you know, perhaps we've got to expect that they've lost the red. What would you do? Your, your team captain, you should be calling, we need to win back the red. How do you do that? Maybe you win over on the next quad. It's 30 seconds time. Gizmo's got, you know, a chunk of armor to his name. He's got some weapons. Go to quad. Yeah, because he can defend that bounce pad easily with the lightning gun and rocket launcher as well to spam on the doors if they come through the doors. But you know, he's leaving it late and that's giving Plan B an opportunity to set up. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. That is an excellent counter. They're going to get a second kill out of this as well. That's such good play by Plan B. They've absolutely schooled Mammoth there. Almost to an embarrassing level. That was superb. It was play. really nice. There you go, Red. He does just save it, Alteza. That's excellent lightning yeah, gun work. Just those couple of cells that hit knocked him away from the Red. That is. <laughs> it's all going the way of Plan B at the moment. They look finely attuned to the game as these maps have gone on. Getting better and better. This is very impressive play by Alteza on the previous map and this one. Yeah, finishes up at the Red as well, which he's totally secured. A couple of seconds to his He doesn't actually need it basically no damage on that run. He needs a teammate to maybe take this one, but he's going to double it up as they've all disappeared. But that might actually be a good sign, because they could be across the other side of the map, mopping up kills, and look at how many of these Mammoth players have nothing to their name. Well, that's the danger of a good quad run, you know, to say it so many times. When you spawn, you have nothing, and the chances of being you know, preyed upon by the enemy are significantly increased. Really very nice play by Alteza. It's unfortunate for him all the spawns happen to be at the back end of the red area and they could just rush onto it because he couldn't really counter from the position he was in, but still did a great job. Yeah, absolutely. Giving now, his team a 15 frag or so lead. Now, bear in mind, they were 20 behind you know, about the 9 minute mark or so. It really is a very impressive frag turnaround and we're, you know, Getting into the latter stage of this game now. We've only got three quads left. 
it's going to be difficult to turn that frag camp around. I mean, it's not possible. We've already seen it from Plan B anyway, but at the pace at which it's going at the moment for Mama, they're going to need maybe all of those quads. Let's see, 10 seconds to go. Plan B are in position. It doesn't look too strong with Volteza. Though, in terms of health and armor, 62 health, 10 armor. Lightning gun for this bounce pad, though, and a bit of plasma spam might go well. Far too late. Mama attacking again. It looks like they might have even got countered inside that upper doorway again. That's what Miso's complaining about, I think. Well, it's happened multiple times. They should be expecting it. You can't attack that late on this map. It's just too tight, the doorways. It's so easy to defend. You can't really complain about these things. You need to go there earlier. Satan getting taken out. This is an excellent end to the run for Alteza as he takes over this red room. He's got 10 seconds to wait out until the red spawns, but how are they going to get in when they've just all spawned? They've got no well, weapons. Alteza's playing like this as well. I mean, he's killing very efficiently at the moment. Sword just sent the lightning gun into the shotgun rather than using lightning gun the whole way. Well, he is absolutely dominating this map like a seasoned pro. It's very, very impressive work from Alteza. And plan B, I mean, they're on their way to victory if he carries on this, this performance. He does eventually get taken out. And sometimes it's just, you know, you need a kill on their key player. And that might give Mammoth the in. It's not it's not like an insurmountable difference to come back from. We do have four minutes remaining, two quads left, so they can still do this. Well, absolutely, because we saw how quickly plan B turned things around. It's just, can Mammoth find that same level of quality that... Plan B did to bring this game back and then take a lead. They've pushed Plan B into not the best spot here. We're following Hypno. They all had to back off to the quad area, but it's 25 seconds before quad. If Mammoth can get a nice stack, well, Gizmo's got the red. He hasn't got much health, though, and he needs a safe route to quads. He needs to rush round if he's going to take the safer route or just rush the bounce pad. In fact, he picks up an easy frag on Alteza. He just drew him in there. This is actually going to work out quite well. What's he doing? He's got a shotgun. He doesn't use it. I don't think he knew. But he did. He didn't want I to risk the lightning gun. Didn't want to drop either weapon, but maybe he needed to take the risk with at least the shotgun. Two quick frags for an excellent for Hypno as well with the plasma gun in this penultimate squad. 14 impressives he's got across the map. Again, highlighting their focus on the rail. Satan just catching him from behind with their rocket launcher. But, well, I mean, Alteza, that was a huge shotgun here. You gotta say that's penultimate quad. Mamo haven't really closed the gap in at all on that one. So no, it does look pretty grim for them now. Turning this around would be very difficult. We do still have the lingering hope of one quad. Build it back before a run, a run of frags before a run of frags with the quad, and then conversions afterwards. You know, in theory. Yeah, realistically, I do think you'd need to be within ten. Before the quad. Let's see, they've got a minute to uh, start doing that. Because so obviously, you know, if, if Plan B were in a situation where they weren't looking good leading into the final quad, they don't have to show off a challenge for it unless the score is really, really close. You know, if you've got a 15 or 20 frag difference, no need to go to quad and risk giving away a load of frags. You know, they can just hide it out for the last minute. Wow. Well, Satan's standing in a very unusual position there. Exactly why he actually managed to catch out his opponent. Which was Hitler doing some excellent brain. I think it's up to 16 impressives there. He's roused from out, hasn't he? He's just going through the model. Very unfortunate for him, but it's not like he's having a bad game. No, he's looked very good on Nimbus and on Dreadful Place. Superb play. 10 seconds to go before the final quad on Taser. Making a rush towards it now, is it? Looks like Mammoth have got a couple of players with nothing there. And I hate to highlight it again, but... We've seen quad dominance from Plan B on this map. Yeah, I mean, their power-up play wasn't brilliant on Purgatory, but on these two single power-up maps, they've looked very effective. Yeah, very focused on the power-ups, and, and as a result, as is the story going through this entire tournament, the, the people who get the most power-ups generally win. And 
that's the most effective use of the power-ups that's going to really show who is the best team in the latter stage of this competition. But it looks like Plan B are going to get that 2-1 victory. In this one. Mama. And not going to be off to the greatest start. Next game will be against Unknown. Yeah, and that's a difficult match. Certainly a tough prospect. Console themselves with the at least one purgatory, had a decent performance on that. Oh yeah, I'd certainly say they were looking very good on purgatory. That's quite but a strange that's turnaround, a, if anything. It's a crushing defeat on Limbus. Blue wins. And you know, maybe that affects them going into this third map. Dreadful place, their power up play, much the same as on Limbus, just wasn't good enough.